Alabama Barker tried to clap back at a situation and people are not happy with her. So let's talk about it. Does Alabama Barker beefing with Jody Woods not remind you of Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods and like the culture vulture of it all, the white best friend who's like in her trying to look black era, like very much overlining her lips. I don't think Kylie had much of a black scent. Alabama Barker has a, a quite a black scent. Alabama Barker is back making headlines for all the wrong reasons yet again. Alabama got called out again for black fishing and she responded in the worst possible way imaginable. But the drama doesn't stop there. Alabama is also getting canceled for being extremely tone deaf and throwing cash into the ocean while she was partying recently while her aunt was recently diagnosed with cancer and all she did for her was open a GoFundMe page and she asked followers to donate. Y'all, Alabama just keeps finding drama everywhere she goes so let's dive into it and find out is alabama barker really doing all of this just for clout have we not been here before and has jordan woods not told jody hey watch out for this kind of girl who's going to suck up your culture beef with you and then four years down the line she's gonna rebrand as a fully white woman and we're all gonna be like oh my god remember that time when she had her black scent era. So it's been a while since we heard of any drama from Alabama Barker and well, now she is back and she has drama for days. I mean, it's hard to even keep track of all of her scandals. First, we'll start with her most recent online beef. Recently, a TikToker named Kiara did a video about Alabama's beef with Jody Woods. Now, Kiara didn't get into all of the details of the beef and she just simply pointed out the fact that Alabama and Jody's beef reminded her of Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods. According to Kiara, it was ironic to her how yet another person in the Car Jenner family is in some drama with a friend and they slowly try to blackfish and change their personalities and accents to appear more black. We've been here before, bro. Like, we just don't need to do this again. I don't want to know anything about it. I, I just think it's interesting when somebody has a black scent and their brother does not. That's always going to be interesting to me. And look, I have no idea if the beef is real, but um, she she definitely likes to beef like the thing the thing with Tana, Tana Mojo. I think I think she 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 likes a little bit of internet drama and like you know do you do you for that. Now, Kylie never had a black accent, but Alabama has a lot of it, and Kiara pointed that fact out. What stood out to Kiara even more is that no one else in Alabama's family talked anything like that. So she was just curious where Alabama may have gotten it from. Haven't we done this already? <laughs> Haven't we done this already? And I feel really strongly that in a few years, she's going to rebrand um, as a Caucasian and embrace the caucasity of it all. I think we'll see less li I think it'll, just like Kylie Jenner, I think she will deflate and become white again, born anew. Now, everything that Kiara talked about isn't exactly anything new for anyone on the internet. Alabama has been called out numerous times for blackfishing, so even for Alabama, it's not the first time someone is telling her something that she hasn't heard over and over. However, Alabama wasn't too pleased with Kiara's video. Shortly after she saw Kiara's TikTok, she quickly made a response video basically making fun of Kiara and how she looked. Alabama stitched Kiara's video and used a frame where Kiara was in the middle of talking and basically used it to insinuate that Kiara wasn't all that. So her opinion didn't matter to her. I'm when she had her black scent era. <laughs> Now, this didn't quite go down as Alabama had expected. I don't know if she regretted making the video in the first place or if people in her comments started calling her out or something because just five minutes after uploading that video, Alabama quickly took the video down, hoping that not many people had seen it, but sadly it was too late. Literally last night I went to bed. Apparently Alabama posted this video and deleted it within five minutes. I guess Alabama Barker first off reported my video, which I had to appeal and restore. Second of all, made that video of me a still frame of me in a video talking about something but i'm sure she was scrolling like oh yeah this one her under eyes are really popping look how ugly this non-nepo baby is let me make fun of her face um and i guess the comments weren't really eating that up the way she expected so she deleted it within five minutes probably thinking i would never see or maybe she initially intended for me to see i'm just cackling at the idea of alabama barker scrolling my page trying to find an ugly still frame of me 
for this TikTok and being like, yeah, that bitch's under eyes are really pronounced in this. I, I think she's ugly. Let me post this. Y'all, things got way worse for Alabama after people started trolling her in the comments, telling her that Kiara looked like Jody Woods. Now, looking back at it, that might be the reason why Alabama was so quick to delete the video in the first place. Anyways, what's kind of ironic and funny about that is how many comments are on that video saying I look like Jody Woods or Jordan Woods. Jody is like her, Alabama's alleged best friend, or maybe they have beef, whatever it is. I didn't mean to trigger her. I'm just kidding. I don't even think I really look very much like either of them. I'm just a light skin bit. But there's a lot of comments about it. And I did used to get Jordan Woods a lot in college. Again, I don't really see it, but it is funny given the situation. Anyways, people were quick to jump to Kiara's comments and offer her their support and low key throw shade at Alabama while at it. Her name is Alabama? Her parents already set her up for failure. Her coming for your looks when her whole aesthetic is trying to emulate black women is sending me. Alabama Barker is a black woman? Honestly, I never believed anyone was blackfishing, but her? That's a light skin African American independent woman. She needs help. So wild of her to even attempt to make fun of your looks too. You're stunning. She recently talked about how depressed it made her when paparazzi took unflattering pictures of her and how paparazzi are the devil, but suddenly it's okay and funny when she does it to other people. I also hate when girls who are very obviously like rarely seen without makeup want to talk about the aesthetics of someone who is not always into that. Like, we just have different aesthetics, but don't c come for me and do a zoom in photo of me talking about something. Yes, I look overzealous and my eyes are wide. And I have these under eye bags that I have to keep explaining to people. Um, but I could just go like this. Y'all, the most ironic thing is that a while back, Alabama called out people who judge people's looks. In a post on her IG stories, Alabama responded to a fan who asked how she managed to stay positive on social media. She responded by saying, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say it's easy and to keep pushing. It gets very challenging, especially when they don't know you. I feel very misunderstood. It's all part of the lifestyle. People are going to hate you regardless. Don't entertain what people say about you. If you know yourself and your morals and your intentions, nothing else matters. Alabama advised her fans not to feed into the hate by responding, but that doesn't mean she isn't tempted. Earlier in September, Alabama said that sometimes she has found herself wanting to clap back when people started mocking her with her weight. She, however, decided to open up about her autoimmune disorder. While she didn't go into detail, she did say that a thyroid problem and autoimmune disease contributed to all the changes in her weight. That's my face when I see all the fake pages commenting about my weight and paparazzi pictures and saying I'm a catfish or saying I'm fat. First of all, let me eat you up because I'm so fat. I also have a thyroid problem and an autoimmune disease. So that's one of the main reasons why I have weight gain. So it would be very appreciated if you guys just keep your opinions to yourself. It will get you further in life. She took to social media to say, that's my face when I see all the fake pages commenting about my weight and paparazzi videos and saying I'm a catfish. She continued to say, or saying I'm fat. First of all, let me eat you up because I'm so fat. Paparazzi will purposely take pictures of you with your mouth open, middle of a sentence, and any ugly picture they can get out of you just for the views you guys also act like i've gained a thousand pounds it's like five ten pounds which is so normal for a lot of girls weight fluctuates and i don't want any girls that are young watching this that are gaining weight to ever think there's something wrong with it y'all this is not even the first time that alabama has called out other people judging her looks there was a time a few months back when alabama posted a lewd photo of herself and people were quick to say all sorts of things about her so she decided to share a post on instagram saying let's stop getting mad on my page that you felt the need to over me and have a problem with it i'm not going to wear long sleeves etc to make the internet not the body i was born with if you have a problem unfollow me after this she followed Followed it up with a pinned comment from a fan that read, I understand that she's a minor, but what bugs me is the fact that all of you guys are judging her when God knows all of us did the same shit she's doing at her age. Maybe you guys should put down the gavel and take a good look in the mirror before you pass judgment on her. We all did it and you all know it. Get off your high horse, let her live. Now, Alabama's whirlwind drama doesn't end there. Actually, it gets way worse because Alabama was out partying recently and she was partying hard. Now, if you have ever 
ever seen Alabama's Instagram stories, you know she loves sharing every detail of her luxurious life. Whether it's expensive watches, whether it's expensive drinks she's having, her purses, you name it. If it costs a lot, Alabama is most definitely posting about it. Now, because of that, she posted a series of pictures of her and two guys out on a boat somewhere. Now, one photo in particular happened to just leave people dumbfounded, and it was a picture showing a lot of cash that Alabama was just throwing into the ocean. Now, I know what you're thinking to yourself. This is shocking, but it looks like something she would do, and you would be correct. However, what if I told you that just a couple of weeks earlier, Alabama had taken to her socials to share a GoFundMe for her aunt who was diagnosed with cancer. She used her platform to ask her followers to help her raise $30,000 for her aunt, and then a couple of weeks later, she's on a boat throwing cash into the ocean. Now, a lot of people would argue that $30,000 to Alabama and her family is something manageable, and they could easily do it without thinking twice. People were so shocked by this GoFundMe post, and they decided to call her out on it. Kind of over celebrities asking to donate to their friends slash families GoFundMe when you can literally have a Birkin bag five times over the GoFundMe goal. The same girl who left her 10K Cartier watch in a burger joint bathroom so carelessly, lol. Like she's literally your family and you're rich. Just pay for it maybe, IDK. Travis Barker's net worth currently is $50 million. Kourtney Kardashian's net worth currently is $65 million. I understand this is not all liquid, but still, no. They could donate the loose change from under their sofa cushion and it would probably add up to the total needed. Alabama could log into Travis's internet banking, transfer herself 30K, and Travis probably wouldn't even notice. Alabama might not have access to enough liquid cash to cover the entire cost of medical services for her aunt. Her new stepmom, however, loves. The irony in all of Alabama's drama is just next level because after her 18th birthday, Alabama was robbed in the bathroom of a fast food restaurant and lost two of her luxury watches. Alabama quickly took to her IG stories to reveal that she had lost her Patek Philippe and Cartier watches. This was after she went into the bathroom at a fat burger in Burbank, California. Now, nobody really knew how exactly she lost them. Like, did she leave them on the sink or something? But she said she was extremely heartbroken about it. She wrote, whoever took my Patek and Cartier watch out of the fat burger bathroom a day ago in Burbank, I have a reward for you. Please give it back. Loves, she then posted a couple of pics of the watches and they are allegedly worth up to a hundred thousand dollars each. Y'all, it was reported that just weeks earlier, Kris Jenner gifted her a Cartier watch, but nobody was sure if it was the same one that was stolen. Alabama also got gifted a bunch of luxurious stuff from Birkin bags to a G-Wagon. Now, you would see yet again how ironic it is for someone in her position to start a GoFundMe page asking for strangers to help her family member. Anyways, after the whole throwing cash into the ocean thing had started dying down, Alabama was back at it and making headlines again. But this time, it wasn't her fault. You see, Alabama's mother, Shanna Mochler, did an interview with People Magazine, and in there, she said she didn't have any kind of words for Alabama's new blended family. I'm more than just the ex-wife of famous men. I was Miss USA at 19. I'm smart. Every part I ever got in a movie or every show I hosted or auditioned for, I worked my effing ass off to get. I also don't have to like the effing Kardashians, and I'm honestly sick about talking about them. As I stand here today as a mature woman who has gone through all that, I do not give an F what anyone thinks of me anymore. I am proud of who I am. Now, Alabama and her mom haven't always had the best relationship, and to add fuel to this fire, Alabama has gotten really close to Courtney. So she was really angry after seeing this. She took to her Instagram to post a picture of her dad and Courtney and captioned it, my favorite people. I have to say, given all the stories that we have talked about today regarding Alabama, I have to admit that this was lovely from her and definitely a better way of handling the situation than how she chose to do it with Kiara. Anyways, what do y'all think about Alabama's recent wave of drama? Let me know your opinions in the comments down below and don't forget to check out my previous video to ensure you are up to date with all the latest tea. Till next time, bye love!